Let's see how we can lay out floorings and coverings in the design tool. So in the tab layout tiles, uh, we can click on this button here, add tile, to open uh, the vast product library uh, and then search and download uh, the tiles that we want. Uh, in case you don't find the products you need in the library, uh, you can also import new tiles yourself from file, uh, either one by one or by importing uh, a full list uh, from Excel uh, sheet like this, uh, plus all your texture images in one go. Uh, if you are interested in how to search the product library uh, and also how to add your own tiles from file, uh, please check out the links at the end of this video. To start tiling a room, uh, first we need to select a surface from the 3D view. Uh, when we select a surface, we then see it here on the left on 2D uh, canvas. We select a tile from the right panel here and then uh, we uh, drag and drop the tile on the canvas. Uh, you can see that actually uh, this uh, marble effect tile has more than one texture available. Uh, that's because on Tileuk we can upload more textures for the same product uh, and then uh, they are used randomly uh, in our layouts. On the top right, we can control how to repeat uh, the tiles horizontally and vertically. We have a horizontal layout direction and a vertical layout direction. Here we see a number of rows, which is one, and we can uh, click here to add two, three, four rows, and so on. Uh, just above the number of rows, we have this option called fill area with rows. Uh, if we tick this box, uh, new rows are added automatically in order to fill uh, the whole area uh, with rows. Uh, on the horizontal uh, layout direction, uh, this checkbox is already uh, ticked. If we uh, remove this, uh, then we can select uh, a number of columns in this case. So we can manage rows and columns uh, in this way and then uh, when we are done, we simply click on apply. Okay, so I'm going to uh, place this other tile on this wall. Uh, then I'm going to set a number of columns like this and a number of rows. Okay, and then apply. Uh, now, if I drag another tile, it will be placed always uh, on the bottom left side. Uh, but I can use uh, the blue grip on the origin point to move uh, this layout where I want. So, for example, I'm going to uh, attach it to this snap point so that uh, I've placed it just above uh, the other rows of tiles and then I'm going to finish uh, by setting the number of columns and rows that I want and then uh, apply. Okay so now uh, just to make a new example I want to delete uh, all of the tiles on this wall. Uh, we can do this using this simple tool uh, remove all tiles from the surface so I'm going to click here and then uh, confirm. Uh, I'm going to drag uh, this tile again onto the canvas uh, to show you uh, that also uh, we can use these grey grips as well to move uh, the layout where we want. For example, uh, I can attach this uh, grey edge to the edge of my uh, door on this, on this wall here. Uh, you can notice that while I move uh, the layout to the right, uh, this tile is still also uh, repeated on the left. Uh, and this is because we have this option here, horizontal expand, uh, which is set to both uh, directions. So if we click on this uh, button here, we can choose uh, to have the layout be repeated only uh, on the right side uh, of the horizontal uh, direction. And uh, we can also do the same uh, for the vertical. So uh, this is by default only uh, upwards, but if we click on this button, uh, we can choose uh, to uh, repeat this tile in both ways. Okay, so as you've probably learned uh, by now, uh, the red dots on the canvas uh, indicate some editing tools. Uh, so if we click on the red dot uh, here on the origin, we can, of course, uh, move this layout by specifying an exact number of centimeters, for example, horizontally by 20 centimeters, and then apply to move exactly by that amount. Uh, we can also rotate this layout. Uh, so we have a rotate option. Uh, we can choose 
uh, clockwise or counterclockwise and uh, various uh, degrees of rotation or set uh, our own rotation angle with this option here. For example, I'm going to choose uh, 45 degrees Okay, to rotate the layout like this. Uh, we can also rotate by simply dragging uh, the blue grips on the edge of my layout. Uh, and while we do this, we can uh, use the snap points okay, that we find on the canvas. For example, we can rotate this tile vertically. And then, uh, if we like this layout, uh, we apply. Okay, what if, for example, uh, we want to start our layout from the right edge and then set a number of columns uh, from right to left instead of uh, left to right? Uh, to do this, we need to invert the horizontal direction, uh, this vector here. So by clicking on this red dot, uh, we can choose invert direction. Okay, so now the vector is pointing uh, to the left. Uh, we move our origin on the right edge of the wall and then here uh, we simply need to set a number of columns. Once a layout has been applied uh, we can select each tile on the canvas uh, so by clicking on a tile we add uh, each of these tiles to a selection like this. Um, if we want to clear the selection we simply press ESC on the keyboard uh, we can also uh, select tiles in groups uh, by using a selection uh, rectangle. For example, uh, by drawing a rectangle like this on the screen, I can select uh, this uh, column of tiles. Uh, and then I could, for example, click on the red dot, uh, choose to uh, remove these tiles, and then maybe uh, place uh, this blue one instead. Okay, so by applying one single column, attaching it here, and then uh, the right amount uh, of rows that I need. We don't always want to uh, lay our tiles in straight patterns. Uh, for example, here I would like to design uh, a typical uh, wood flooring uh, layout. Uh, so to design a different kind of pattern, uh, we need to uh, move to this tab called uh, Layouts. Here we find uh, three uh, different methods uh, for creating uh, a tile layout. Uh, you can check these uh, as you make practice. Uh, I'm going to show you this one called uh, Stripes Layout as this is the most useful and uh, commonly uh, used in the program. Uh, so uh, by clicking here we open this uh, small window where we can uh, view all the tiles that we've downloaded in the project. Uh, we can drag a tile onto this canvas to create uh, a row of tiles. Uh, and then add new rows by simply dragging again the same tile on the canvas. Uh, you see that each tile has uh, this arrow with the red dot. Uh, so as you know, uh, by clicking on the red dot, we can open uh, the options. Uh, here we have just one called offset, and this allows me to uh, set a distance in millimeters from the starting point of this row uh, to the right. So for example, I'm going to write 400 uh, millimeters to move uh, this second row to the right uh, by this distance. I'm going to do this also on the third row, this time 800 millimeters and apply. And so now uh, I've created this uh, layout block. Okay, so after uh, I apply uh, this new layout, I have it here on the right panel and I can drag and drop this uh, layout block onto uh, any surface and then uh, use the same options that we saw before to set uh, the columns, the rows, if we want to fill uh, the whole area. We can then also uh, rotate and so on. And when we are done, uh, we simply need to click on apply. If you've ever seen uh, examples of tile patterns like these, uh, usually you can always see uh, the basic repetition block to recreate uh, the layout. Uh, using the different layout tools that we have in the program, we can uh, create almost any kind of pattern. So here I have a project with some examples. You can see I've created uh, various kinds uh, of layouts. Uh, these are all then uh, single tiles that I can select and uh, modify if I want uh, one by one. Okay, so going back to uh, my previous example project, uh, what if uh, I want to 
place tiles uh, at a certain amount of centimeters. For example, uh, I want to make uh, my layout finish exactly on the border of my shower plate here. Uh, using the columns uh, they simply don't fit so uh, in this case I need to create uh, a region uh, with a specific uh, shape and a specific size uh, so to do this uh, we use this other tab called subdivide surfaces uh, from here we select uh, the same wall uh, we use this tool called add 2 d surface this lets me create uh, a shape with specific uh, sizes uh, much like we do uh, on the create room tab uh, for the 3D uh, objects. So uh, I'm just going to apply this basic new shape. Uh, I can find it here on the canvas. Uh, I can modify the shape and you can see uh, the size is changing. So now it's 90 centimeters. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, move it like this. So it's 210 centimeters uh, high. Okay, so now uh, moving back to uh, layout tiles on the same uh, wall, I can see this new uh, this new area, this new region. I can click on the border to select uh, this new area. And now, if I'm going to drag uh, a tile inside of the area, you see that uh, the layout finishes exactly on the edge, uh, even by choosing. Uh, fill area with rows, the rows will be filled uh, until the top edge uh, of my new uh, region. Okay, uh, I can also create uh, a region within uh, another one. So moving back to subdivide surfaces, uh, I'm going to select this area again, uh, choose again, add 2 d surface. Okay. So this uh, is an area within uh, this other area here. I'm going to uh, change the shape just very uh, manually like this. Okay. Move back to uh, layout tiles. I can select this new area again and place, for example, a mosaic. Okay. Okay, so the last thing that I want to show you is how to set uh, grout thickness and uh, grout colors. Here on the toolbar, we have this tool called uh, Tile Gap Settings. Uh, by clicking here, we open this window where, uh, first of all, we can choose if we want to set uh, some global settings uh, for our grout. So for the entire project, uh, we can do this by ticking this box. If we uh, remove this uh, check, uh, we are going to set the grout only for uh, the selected surface or the selected area. So here we can set uh, a gap thickness in millimeters. For example, I'm going to write five uh, millimeters. We have various color palettes that we can choose from, uh, from some of the most uh, common, uh, well-known brands um, for grout. Or we can use this very uh, useful tool uh, to uh, select and match a color from the screen. So what we need to do is to click on this icon, uh, drag uh, the tool uh, anywhere on the screen to match a color uh, directly from the screen. For example, to match the color uh, of my tile and then apply. Okay, so just another uh, quick example. Uh, here I want to uh, change the grout uh, for the tiles inside of this region. So I'm just going to select one of these tiles, then uh, choose uh, the tool again, remove uh, the global settings. Here I'm going to set a different thickness and a different color, okay. And also uh, for the area of the mosaic, so I'm just, go I'm just going to pick uh, one of these uh, mosaic sheets, then uh, pick this tool again, and maybe uh, pick a color again from the screen and apply. 
Okay, so as you can see, uh, there are also a few other tools here on the toolbar. Uh, you can look into these uh, when you make some practice. For example, we can uh, use uh, this very quick tool to swap one tile with another or copy and paste tiles from one wall to another. Uh, as we have been placing tiles in our project, uh, all the quantities are automatically calculated and uh, you will see this later on when we move on to the prices and quantities tab.